What's going on guys? So we are still out here at the Forest River RV Dealer Show in Elkhart, Indiana. We're gonna take a look at a few more units and we're just doing this kind of quick walkthrough of some of these units. So we're actually gonna show you two of them now. So we're gonna show you this unit right here and then we're gonna show you the Brookstone. This is gonna be a really good example of some of the differences between a Chaparral in terms of size versus a Brookstone because that's really where the differences are. There are some uh, cosmetic differences like tile backsplashes, things like that, that you can get in a Brookstone. Um, but for the most part, almost everything you can get on a Brookstone, you can get in a smaller and possibly more affordable Chaparral. So these are always things to consider. Anyways, guys, we're going to start with the Chaparral, then we'll move to the Brookstone. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is a Chaparral 334FL front living room. This has a GVWR 15,000 pounds, a dry weight of 12,400 pounds, and a carrying capacity of 2,600 pounds, twin 7,000 pound axles. It rides on 16 inch G rated tires, and it's gonna have a 13 foot total height. Um, a lot of cool perks about this that are the same with a lot of the RVs we've already gone through out here. Dual sided Asdell. So you get Asdell both on the outside and now the inside of the walls. That is super cool and that's a super great feature. You're still going to get your G rated tires, your 7,000 pound Dexter axles, and the heavy duty road armor suspension with the half inch thick shackle straps and the greasable wet bolts. This one's going to have a six point auto leveling system on it as well. And a lot of really great features 12 inch I beam frame. Um, there's just so much to talk about and the biggest one probably is the fact that now all all coachman fifth wheels will have a minimum of two included 15,000 BTU air conditioners that is huge that is that's very rare that's just very very uncommon in the industry to include two standard with a third 15,000 BTU air conditioner optional absolutely cool so one little caveat to that our light series is an example we would not have the third AC option. So Just because it's short. It, correct. Yeah, it's a you shorter unit. It on, yeah. on a light series or a 298 RLS, but anything 336 and larger, you'll have that option for a third AC. Okay, so pretty much all of your larger units are going to have it. Absolutely. Very cool, as an option at least. Awesome. Well, let's take a look inside of this unit real quick so we can move on to the Brookstone. We're going to go up the uh, Lippard Solid Steps. If you don't know what that is, this means this step is going to have the deeper top step and it's also wider than the competition. Love that Asdell. Now this is a front living room unit. Kind of pan around here real quick. Dave's rushing to turn on lights and turn on fireplaces. It's early in the morning. Now, so this is really cool. So this is gonna be a front living unit. Very traditional in the sense that you're gonna have your dual opposing slides. These will fold out and give you this enormous bed for kids to jump on and play around all night and on. So here's one difference between the Chaparral version of the front living room and a Brookstone. In the Brookstone, there's actually space to walk in between here when the two hide beds come together. In the Chaparral, they come all the way together, butted right up against each other. So the kids could have this massive popcorn party up top mm -hmm. here with the TV and the movies and all that good stuff. Um, theater seats, heat, massage, LED lights, that's standard across the board, even in our light series. On a day like this, the heat really comes in handy. Yeah, sure would. So something to think about, and this really kind of epitomizes the difference of a wide body unit versus a standard body. This is an eight foot wide unit, and a lot of folks are like, well, what does five inches make? It makes a lot of difference <laughs> whenever you're talking about slide outs, right. opposing slide outs in a unit, because in reality, you're extending them out even further than that because of how math works. And because of that, you have a much wider gap in between. And if you actually have enough room to walk in between the two opposing sofas, that's a pretty big deal because it just goes to show you how much extra room you get, especially with slide outs on a wide body unit. Correct. Very cool. And as you notice, this will actually have two air conditioners in the main living area. So this will be zone A, zone B would be in the bedroom. Very area. cool. And all 15,000 BTU All 15,000 BTU. That's mm -hmm. awesome. All right, let's come down this way. Okay, so now we are in the kitchen. David, tell us what's going on in here. Okay, lots of countertop space. You've got room for, well, little buffet area over here. You've got a lot of countertop, solid surface countertop, by the way, because we're in a mid-profile chaparral. That's an option. You've got the high-rise faucet. You've got all stainless steel appliances over here. We're using the larger oven across the board, too. A lot of brands, they'll save some costs, go to a 17-inch oven. This is a, it's a full 21-inch oven. Another cost save you see with other brands, they'll put a false panel here. We put a full drawer, 100-pound ball bearing drawer guide. It's a great pots and pans storage area. A lot of storage over here as well. Massive 17 cubic foot 
That's a 12 volt refrigerator. Okay, works great in tandem with the 190 watt optional solar panel. Over here, you've got massive amount of window. Okay, so more of our atrium style windows. We've gotten rid of the fabric over here across the board on all of our products. We've got the nice blackout shades. Gotten rid of the fabric here. This is actually a faux fabric, but it wipes clean. It's more of a pleather. Yeah, it actually material. feels like a microfiber. It it's does, really cool. Yeah, but it's really, it's still soft to yeah. the touch. We've removed carpet from the slides. Okay, you've got the extra leaf for storage here. Storage in the chairs themselves. Mm -hmm. So, little extra storage over here in the corner as well. And JD, for you. You've got your coffee maker. Got your coffee maker station. Absolutely. If you give me the coffee maker, that changes things completely. Maybe you should start including a coffee maker in it's, these things. Let's call it the JD edition. So over here, you've got a huge pantry. Now, in a Brookstone, this would be an extra half bath. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we did it both ways so that we can give our customers two different options. Very cool. And this appears to be a spot for a trash can. It is. That's cool. This is actually a big stress for a lot of folks. They get their RV and they're like, where in the world do I go? put my trash can? You can fit a full-size trash can in there. Coming into the bedroom area, okay? You've got your little extra storage nooks over here, okay? I can't believe the amount of storage in this unit. I mean, we're talking... Look at this. Look at this. I mean, it's yeah. so much wardrobe space. Overhead storage here on both sides of the TV location. Huge windows. All the storage down below. If you pan around behind you, JD... You've also got storage here. This lifts up for storage. Oh, that's cool. As well. So you put the flip up on both. There. Basically, oh, yeah. wherever you could put it, you put it. Shoe storage down below here. Overhead storage. Charging everywhere. USB charging. We made these extra large. If you want to put a cell phone up here, that's easy to do. There's USB charging on both sides as well. Nice cross breeze. Blackout shade windows. Very cool. Option for a king size bed with lots of storage underneath here as well. Nice. And I like that it's trimmed off real well. We're going into the master suite over here, JD. Check this out. Well, first of all, one thing I'm noticing that I didn't see on the other ones is you have the frosted glass doors we do. on this one. This looks really Absolutely. nice. So when you slide these shut, that looks beautiful. So because this is a mid-profile chaparral, you've got your washer and dryer closet as well. So these shelves can be removed very easily at the dealer level. And you could put a stackable in here just like your Splendid. Wait, wait, wait. Dealer level? I'd rip those things out myself. There you go. Okay. Porcelain sinks. Dual have tons of storage in this floor plan. Taller ceilings because the bathroom's at the back, which also means taller ceiling inside the shower as well. You've got the nice seat for, for the shower as well. Awesome. And you know what's interesting? Well, real quick, porcelain foot flush toilet, but that's not the part that's interesting. What's interesting is, is if you guys could actually like be here and hear the enthusiasm Dave has in his voice when he goes through these, it's a genuine enthusiasm. I know some folks are like, well, obviously he works for them. He's salesy. This is kind of a salesy. It's genuine like enthusiasm. When I walk out here and not recording, he's walking through like excited, like giddy to show me some of the things that they've done. And that's awesome. That's that's good because it shows you care about the product. Well, it, I've been with Coachman for yeah. over 10 years now. And um, it's definitely one of those companies that are always innovating. So it's always exciting to come to work. Yep. And that's cool. And again, your family's been in the industry forever. So, you know, it, this is definitely one of those industries where if you wanted to move to another brand, you could. Sure. But you stayed here for so long because you like what they're doing. You like the leadership. You like the culture. And that matters. So that's very cool. Thank you. Very, very nice. Let's hop out of this one and hop into that uh, Brookstone next to us and see what it's all about. Okay, so now we're going to move to the Brookstone. We just showed you Chaparral. Chaparral is not a wide body design. It doesn't mean it's not wide. It's eight foot, but this is going to be eight and a half feet. So it's going to be a bit wider. Um, to give you kind of context to it, a semi-truck, a semi-tractor trailer is the same width as this. Or I guess this is the same width as that because people with semi-tractors are going to be like, um, no, we're wider, whatever. That said, we're going to take a close look at this, but I have two special guests that showed up. I have Jake and Tyler from eTrailer, my official channel sponsor. So they joined me out here because they're super cool dudes and um, they're super tall too. So anytime we want to look at the height of a shower, these are the guys you want to call. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to take a look at the numbers real quick and we're going to let Dave give us a guided tour of this unit. And we're going to make it pretty quick though, because we don't want to make this thing super long. Let's go over the specs on this model. So this Brookstone is the 374RK. By the way, I've actually already reviewed this unit before at a dealership lot, but this is going to be really cool to show the e-trailer folks. 15,500 pound GVWR, 13,020 pound unloaded weight, 2,480 pound hitch weight, 
and it has twin 7,000 pound axle, 16 inch G-rated tires. And to give you the difference between a mid profile and a full profile, it's five inches. This is 13 foot, five inches tall versus 13 feet. And again, this is eight and a half feet wide versus eight feet wide. Anyways, let's hop inside this unit and see what we think about it. So first of all, you know what? I wanna get their expressions. I wanna get their, their uh, opinion of what they think about it before you say anything. Sure. And then maybe you can explain to them what's going on. Exactly. All right, gentlemen, yes, hop sir. inside. Go ahead. I'll be the caboose on this train. Yeah, that's a lot of space. Yeah, right away I was thinking I like the layout, the separation of the kitchen, living room. Gives you that space to kind of, you know, family can be hanging out while you're prepping dinner, stuff like that. Beautiful finish all around it. Yeah, I like how it's kind of separated. Usually you only see this set up in a toy hauler right. because you have to, but I like how you incorporated this. Um, you know, you could have your separate space for everybody in the back, but then if, you know, you at the end of the day or beginning of the day, you want to start here by watching some TV, you can. You mentioned, so, I mean, it's basically a chef's dream kitchen. When it comes to countertop space, this would be my little workstation for my computer. I've got the charging outlets and everything right here. I can put my laptop here and watch the news. I've got windows surrounding me all the way around. You've got countertop space everywhere. Pantry storage is just massive, okay? So in the main kitchen area, extra large 17 cubic foot 12 volt fridge. Works fantastic with the solar panels. Over here, just look at the size and depth wow. over here. Motion sensor lights on the inside. And JD, we even include, I know you've got your own little coffee station in this one as well, but the 110 outlet inside the pantry, if you wanted to put a small Keurig inside here, you can do that. Oh, very cool. Look at all the overhead space here. JD, the brand new Insignia oven is a standard feature. I don't want to talk about that. Stones. I don't want to talk <laughs> about sorry. that. I'm sorry. Going to have to build you a new unit. <laughs> lots of drawers, lots of overhead, lots of storage down below here. You've got your countertop. Nice high-rise faucet mm -hmm. over here, stainless appliances, and your massive coffee station. Well, it's a workstation right now, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. And like I said, I always mention coffee stations because it's not necessarily a coffee station. It's a kitchen appliance station. Mm -hmm. Coffee, Keurig machines, they're, they're pretty large now. So to put an Instapot there, to put a, a Foodie, Ninja, those types of things there, I think makes sense. And when you say coffee station, it just means a spot that you can put one of those things with power. So that's really cool. From a height perspective, this guy's 14 foot three. How do you feel in here? This is this is very comfortable. Very comfortable. These More are, than enough space. These are seven foot tall slides. He's six five. Reach your arm up. Touch the ceiling for me. Wow, wow, that's actually kind of embarrassing. So JD over here in the slide outs, you want to pan out just a little sure. bit. You'll notice we've removed all of the carpet from the slides. That was one of your you know, highest customer feedback items that we saw from your videos. So that's gone. Um, I know a lot of customers like to see, you know, these vents here up in the cabinets. Our biggest problem with that, JD, is you're going from four inch ducts down to small two inch ducts in a lot of scenarios. Mm -hmm. And they're being inducted through cabinetry. You lose cabinet space and you lose efficiency. So we're maintaining with the four inch ducts through the floor. You've got heat, massage, LED lights. You've also got trifold height of bed sofas but dual theater seating in this floor plan. Yeah, that is really cool. You know what, Jake, Tyler, let me know what you think of the dual theater seating. Well, that's you got plenty of armor here? <laughs> yeah, fight for it. You gotta turn on the massage and the oh, heat over the oh, my goodness. We're pushing like 50 degrees here today, so. Okay, this is gonna be a short video, yeah. <laughs> we'll continue the tour without y'all. <laughs> I might take a nap on this as well. Now, JD, if you pan up, one special feature in this Brookstone is it has three ACs. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have a special power management system. These are actually three 15K ACs. But that's not yeah. super special because you guys offer three ACs in almost everything now. Your unit has three 13.5 ACs. Ours now have 15K across the board. So in order to do that, we had to put in a power management system. So it'll automatically switch. Say you set your temperature to 72 degrees. 99 degrees outside whatever this will have no problem keeping up so it'll automatically switch between two zones now say it's time to go to bed you want to switch that manually so you can do that by a toggle switch just in the hall up here that's very cool very cool so this is going to be the big test now because we have the 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 tall guy with us this is the tester so let's work our way to the front of this unit we'll stop halfway to go to the bathroom <laughs> and just kind of see how tall things are for him little coat closet over here, your controls. 
All right. I can still stand up comfortably. I have enough headroom here too. Um, it's nice. I do have a hat on, so it makes me look a little bit taller, but this is definitely enough space. Usually in my fifth wheel, I'm always ducked like this mm -hmm. to take a shower. And I think this is, this is more than enough space. Okay. And usually the height I say in here is about six, five, maybe a little taller. Well, obviously it's a little taller. The shower steps up just a hair. So you're a little bit higher up in there, but you also got to factor in the fact you're in the front overhang portion of the fifth wheel. You're on the bath deck, so you're elevated up. And for them to still make the, the ceiling this tall is pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, this is really nice. You know, I never get a tall guy with me whenever I'm, I'm doing RV reviews. I'm going to have to, like, fly you in just to <laughs> walk through RVs with me. Then we'll do our pod reviews. Yeah, there's, even up the furthest point forward, it's still there's still more than enough room. That's awesome. King size bed. You want to hop on the bed? Do it. This guy is not afraid to do anything. Good? Yeah. Checks the box. More, yeah, more than long enough. Awesome. Is that enough uh is that enough closet storage for all your clothes and boots? It should be more than enough. <laughs> Here we go. There's our closet for the well, you can use it as a closet or you can use it for a spot for your washer and dryer. It's funny, I think everyone expects to have that spot, but absolutely. then like 4% of people actually put a washer and dryer in there. That's true, but it's extra storage. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you've got extra storage here, huge drawers. Again, 100 pound ball bearing drawer guides, plywood drawers. Very and cool. And storage under the bed as well. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about a couple standout features from a construction perspective. There's no way you guys would just naturally know. Mm -hmm. So are you familiar with the term Asdell? Okay, so Asdell is a composite material. It's like a it's a replacement for your typical Luan backer wall. They they've always been using it on the outside of their RVs, but for this model year, it's now standard on the inside wall of all RVs as well too. What does that mean? It's completely impervious to water intrusion. So they even have little displays out here with little bottles that sh that have a uh, or little jars that have a piece of Luan in it and a piece of Asdell, and the Asdell bottles are completely clear and it just you don't have to worry about delamination which you've, you have a pre-owned unit, so you're dealing with a little bit of that on your unit, right? Delamination's where the sidewall starts separating from the backer board because the backer board at some point has gotten either moist or the, the adhesive has failed. And this is just something that the folks at Coachman have had for a long time that you just don't have to deal with because of the use of Asdell. Now, the insides of RVs can also get really, really moist, depending on the humidity, your number of ACs. The fact that they have three ACs, 15,000 BTUs of cold air, it's pretty awesome, but the other side of that is the fact that they also use Asdell now, so you just don't have to worry about moisture issues. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, so we have a one through 10 scale. Uh-oh. One through 10, one being, I don't know what a one would be. That's the thing. We've He almost ranked one of them a one because it was so nice that he was just pissed off that it was so nice. So he, sense. yeah, it did make sense. He was like, you know what? I hate this thing. And it was the class B. It was the B, uh, the, the people mover van over there. Sure. And he's like, this thing is so nice. I'm giving it like a three. He got, he was just upset. So, but one to 10 and he's basing it on price point, which this is kind of the mid mid level price point for a luxury fifth wheel. This is not going to be that super, super $300,000 fifth wheel. This is going to be what's affordable by most people looking for this type of fifth wheel, right? Um, you guys walked through all sorts of units yesterday. Mm -hmm. What do you like about this unit? What do you hate about the unit? Price point. I would say for the price point um, and for who it's for, I'm actually in love with this one. I love the floor plan and the setup. It's rare to get the separation and that feel where you can be in the living room, part of your family can be in the living room, part of your family can be in the kitchen doing something else. And you still have that separation like you do at home. Um, also, it's rare to see an island inside an RV that doesn't create um, tight points that you have to squeeze through constantly. It makes sense. It fits. Um, so I'm going to give it a 9 for the price point. Awesome. I'm going with strictly for uh, height purposes, and I'm a huge foodie. Yeah. And I like spending time inside. When it's colder out, um, I'm going to give it a 9.8. 9.8. That's yeah, the first yeah. time we've actually moved above 9.5 in terms of increments. Yeah. Wow. It's there's, it's not very often that you see an RV that you can comfortably sit with your family or friends if it's a rainy day mm -hmm. or anything. Like in my camper, there's 
there's room for two people to sit and everybody else has to stand or you have to hide from the rain outside if it rains or if they're calling for rain in the forecast or if it's cold out you can still go camping knowing you can spend the whole weekend in here with more than enough space to not annoy each other mm-hmm. it it's feels like, cool. I like it. yeah it feels like home in here yep and that was kind of the thing so from all the collaborations that I've done with the folks at Coachman, one thing that's super refreshing, it's almost like working with you guys, that they actually take that information and feedback and they've incorporated a lot of the things we collaborated on into their units. That's correct. And that feedback, though, wasn't my feedback. That was consumer feedback watching the videos. That was people actually saying, why don't they do this? We ran a ton of polls. And I'm going to say 80% of them you guys have now incorporated it in. There's a few that we didn't, only because some are cost prohibitive, some are equipment related, you just can't get the parts. I mean, these guys know better than anybody else the supply chain difficulties right now. So yeah, it's very interesting because when we talk about supply chain issues, you know, we have the e-trailer folks here right now who have absolutely dealt with them. And then we have the RV manufacturers, the OEMs who have absolutely dealt with them. Well, again, guys, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out here and uh, and kind of doing this tour. It's it's pretty awesome. And you guys have spent a lot of time in RVs uh, over the last couple of days. That's very cool. Anyways, guys, now is a great time to subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you haven't had a chance, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll talk to you again very soon.